What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. Now before we get into today's video, guys, we are 14. 14 subs away from 200 subs. I know we can do it. We are so, so close <clears throat> to reaching the goal of 200 subs before the summer comes to a, to a close. I know we can do it, guys. And as I have said in previous videos, if this channel does get to 200 subs, I'm going to open up this Korean Strike of Neos booster box in its entirety on the channel on the hopes of potentially pull this guy, Elemental Hero, Air Neos, the so-called Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Is it really forbidden? I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Now, if this channel gets to 500 subs, I'm going to open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners over at Collector Store, so be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. On the hopes of potentially pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a piece of Exodia, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to a thousand subs, I'm gonna open up this first edition Toon Chaos Box in its entirety on the channel that I also got from my partners over at Collector Store on the hopes of potentially pull up my second ever Collector's Rare. Because if you guys missed out on my Genesis Impact Box opening, I pulled this, the collector's a collector's rare B cup from the underworld. I think it, I think it's gone up in price a, a, a little bit. I'm gonna have to take take a look, but this thing is actually beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, so if you guys want to see these boxes get opened, maybe you guys want want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you guys want more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue. Deck profiles, card discussions, WWE topic videos, or maybe you guys want some premium live event predictions and results well if you guys want want all of that want all of that and more and and if you guys are new to to the channel my channel is the place to be so be sure to subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell smash that thumbs up button on this video and be sure to follow me on all of my social media my ads will be in the description below as will the info to my fan mail it will also be in the description as well. And I want you guys to post in the comments below answering the question of the day, which is, which is this, which is this? Because I'm, because for, before I get, get to that, today's video, I'm, I'm going to be talking about whether or not WWE should actually sign the group known as the elite. So the question of the day is this, should the elite sign sign with WWE or should or should they stay where they are at because because I'm not gonna lie I've heard I've heard so much about about the elite on 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 social media and it seems like it seems like the idea of the elite getting signed, you know, literally going to WWE, might actually be beneficial. And the reason why I say that is because of the fact that you look at a team, you look at a guy like Kenny Omega, who again, again, I don't watch AEW un unfortunately, but I have heard heard a lot of great things about about these guys but you look at a guy like Kenny Omega he's won championships every single in every single promotion New Japan Ring of Honor eight of apparently apparently apparent and apparently as well AEW you know he's won titles in in TNA Impact Wrestling he's been all over the world and I think another title un, under his under his resume might help him out a, a little bit because uh <clears throat> because apparently because apparently uh, there's been a lot of rumors going around as of late that apparently the Elite is going to be signing with WWE at some point but we don't really know when however we do know that 
that you guys know last year Cody Rhodes, excuse me, um, re uh, actually re-signed with WWE back in February of last year, and we didn't. And he didn't reveal himself to return to WWE until until the night of WrestleMania last year in Dallas. And uh, that was an instant classic between Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. That was a hell of a match. But, but if you guys are curious about the group known as the Elite, I'm actually going to go online here. Give me one second. And here we are. Now let's go. Now apparently, apparently, supposedly, it's 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 consisting of 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 Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, who are who are Nick and Matt Jackson, and and I guess what, Hangman Hangman Adam Page. And apparently, apparently, they're supposed to be accompanied by Brandon Cutler and a guy by by the name of of Michael Nakazawa, <clears throat> who actually used to wrestle at, who actually wrestles from time to time, from from what I've seen, from what I'm seeing here. And there's been. Anyway, anyway, don't mind the don't mind the background, the background noise. Apparently, uh, I guess uh, trash people are, are are coming today today for the school across the street. Because apparently now my school is the my my old elementary school here here across the street is uh, hosting summer school this year. Anyway, anyway. Anyway, that being said, there's been a lot of rumors go going around that uh, that supposedly their their contracts with AEW is is going to be coming up really soon, but we don't really we don't really know much about about their contracts at all. However, we do know that that as of right now, the current group consists of of Kenny Omega as the leader from 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 what I'm seeing here Kota Ibushi who's actually who's arguably one of the greatest junior heavyweights of all time um the Young Bucks and, and of course Adam Page and then of course as, as I had said you know the uh, you know their associates would be Cutler and Nagazawa and from what I'm seeing here on on Wikipedia big shout out no copyright apparently the former members would be Marty Skrull, Cody Rhodes, Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, Adam Cole, Bobby Fish, and Kyle O'Reilly. Literally the three former, the three original members of the Undisputed Era. Um, and then of course too, the former associates would be guys like Adam Cole, Chris Jericho, Brandy Rhodes, Chase Owens, Yujiro... Takahashi, Dustin Rhodes, who is actually Cody's half brother, Matt Matt Hardy, Don Callis. I'm not sure who that guy is, but uh, and then uh, Kanosuke Kanosuke Takashita, I believe is is the guy's name. But yeah, um, yeah. Honestly, the elite is uh, from what I'm seeing is uh, is a. Uh, is are probably one of the craziest uh, groups I guess out there. I don't know. I'm I don't know. I've never heard of these guys. Heard of? I've heard about them, but I I, I haven't seen any any of, of their work. So if you guys know any, so if, if so if you guys do know any like good matches from them f featuring them in 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 Ring of Honor or, or whatever. Let me know in the comments because I'm very curious about that. But, but you look at you look at all of the, all of their accomplishments together. You, you know you got you've got 
you got Kenny Omega, who who's a former forefront wrestling junior he, junior he, heavyweight champion. You got Kenny Omega and Heyman Page, who are both former AEW world champions. You've got the Young Bucks, who are two-time world tag a, AEW world tag team champions. Omega and Page together tag team champions. Um, apparently, they 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 had this thing called the Dynamite Award, which was the Bleacher Report pay. Pay per view moment of the year 2021, which featured, I guess, uh, the elite versus the inner circle at double or nothing. I don't know, but you even also look at at Impact 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 Wrestling. You got you got the Good Brothers Gallows and Anderson, former Impact Tag Team Champions, Kenny Omega, former Impact World Champion. You you look at these and it's just like it's it's incredible. It is incredible that all of these. All of these different, um, all all these different awards and championship accomplishments is absolutely amazing, and I believe altogether this is like almost this is like over like thirty at, at least at least over thirty titles between all the members of the elite. So the idea, so the question now becomes: Let's say, for example, the elite does get signed to WWE. Where exactly should they go? Should they go to Raw? Should they go go to SmackDown? Should they go to NXT? Maybe or or maybe could we see them as free agents? Because you, when you look at, if you go to WWE to, if you go to, to um, to WWE.com's uh, superstar page, forgive me if my desk is moving. It's kind of old. Yeah, it's pretty old. So I apologize that the camera move. It keeps moving. I, yeah, I get I apologize. The camera keeps moving. It's because my desk is so old right now. I need a new one. I I need to get a new one. But you look at the at the current free agent list. If the laptop will actually load. Thank you. Get that off. Get that off. Go to superstars. Whoa. So you look at again, you look at the free agents. You got you got guys like give me one second here. Here we are. Current free agent. So as far as as far as the free agents go, you've got guys like Baron Corbett, guys like Brock Lesnar, guys like Cedric Alexander, guys like Dolph Ziggler, guys like Omos, guys like MVP, guys like Mustafa Ali. Elias, Sheldon Benjamin, Von Wagner, and even Zion Quinn. Both of those two, those, those last two, those last two, Wagner and Quinn, we've seen them, you, you know, compete on Raw and SmackDown a couple times in, in the past. Ever since, ever since, ever since the, ever since um, uh, the draft, and we and we know how good how, how good they are. But when you look at, at at a guy like Kenny Omega, who's a world traveled competitor, he's he's won so many championships. He's been in the ring with some of the very best in the business. It comes it comes down to the question: What brand should they go to? Raw, SmackDown, NXT? Could we see them see them as free agents? The possibilities are out there, but I think honestly, I think it would be better to see to see the elite. On Raw, because when you think about Monday Night Raw, one group comes into mind: the Judgment Day. And think and, and think about this: if Kenny Omega claims claims Raw as his home, as his turf, you know damn well, you know damn well, the Judgment Day is going to be like, hey, I don't, I don't see it that way. I don't see it that way. You're on our turf. We run this bitch. So. So it comes. So it comes down to ba again, basically, how they should be debuted in WWE if they get signed to WWE at all. Because from what I'm, because from from the rumors that I've heard, supposedly their contracts with AEW is supposed to expire within the next year or so. But knowing them, because I because I do recall Kenny Omega trying out for for WWE literally almost tw like 
like almost like 20 years ago in, in like 2005 2006 and they told him no you're not you're not ready or actually rather or actually rather rather let me go back actually rather he he applied he he tried to um he actually competed in 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 actually ironically enough he competed in in WWE at one time um and uh if i remember correctly let's see here uh, October 2005, he was sent to Deep South Wrestling, which was one of WWE's uh, developmental territories. Uh, he was given a tryout, and and he and he was offered a developmental contract with the with WWE, and he was assigned to to Deep South Wrestling full time. But in August of of 06, he requested his release from from his contract, and he later stated that his time in DSW was poor, and and particularly. Criticizing promoters De Bill DeMott and Jody Hamilton and trainer Bob Holly. Um, and uh, and three times, three times, actually, 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 numerous times, he, he was offered, he was offered a contract, he was offered a contract. One time was in in the spring of 2014, three times in 2015, and in early 2019. This was right before COVID, uh, excuse me, e struck. And what I find interesting is that <clears throat> is that he just didn't he didn't he didn't take it. And now that he's a bit better, he's gotten a lot better at, at, at his craft. It's possible we could see that. We could see him in WWE. Think of the different matchups that we could see with Kenny Omega. Roman against Roman Reigns. Against Damian Priest. Against Logan Paul. Against Brock Lesnar. Baron Corbin, just to name a few. The Young Bucks. Think about this. Guys like guys like the New Day. Guys like Benjamin and Alexander, guys like, guys like, I don't, mm, I don't know, uh, Gallus, the Dyad from both, both from from NXT. The possibilities are out there, but we don't know. We don't know anything about it. All I know is that me, me personally, I I've, I've heard a lot of great things about 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 Omega, about the Young Bucks, and about Heyman Page. And from what I've heard, they're good. So I would love, I would love to see them in WWE, but only time will tell. But I, but I will, but to close out this video, I'll say this. No matter where, no matter where the elite goes, after the contract expires, whether they decide to stay in AEW and they renew their contracts, or they let it expire and they come to WWE, or they travel somewhere else. Those guys are going to be some some of the best talent in the entire world, and there's no doubt in my mind that we could that we will see them in WWE facing off against guys the likes of Omos, the likes of Baron Corbin, the likes of Brock Lesnar, the likes of Roman Reigns, the you know you know the likes of the Usos, the New Day. We will see it happen, but when it happens. Is up to them, but again, that brings me back to the question of the day, which is this: Should WWE should should the elite go to WWE or stay where they are at? Let me know down in the comments below, and that will do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more WWE topic videos in the future, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. And follow me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below. As will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash. Signing out.